Normally, we focus on our dreams and take big steps to align our intentions with the universe, but have you ever wondered why the path to manifestation is not always a direct journey? The universe seems to have a remarkable way of guiding us through a series of intermediate steps, not to stop us, but to sculpt our preparation for the grand stage of manifestation itself. Think of these steps as cosmic assessments, opportunities for us to demonstrate our genuine commitment and readiness. The universe, in its wisdom, is testing our resolve, it's as if each test is a cosmic nod, a whisper asking, are you truly ready for the treasures you seek? The truth is, once we have overcome these trials, the universe opens the vault of our desires. The idea of manifesting, of bringing our dreams into our reality, is truly enchanting, the attraction is undeniable, a world where our deepest desires can emerge. However, this path has its challenging moments. During this phase, we typically face two fundamental questions, what truly sustains the art of manifestation? And why do so many stumble on this path? We can all stumble at the beginning, manifestation is the union of intention and alignment. Sometimes, instead of an immediate wave of positive changes, we are greeted by a wave of challenges, it seems like the universe presents us with the opposite of our desires, a bewildering puzzle. In fact, for example, we choose our goals by embracing positive wealth, new opportunities, and inspiring connections in our lives, but sometimes it seems like the path takes a curious turn. In this intricate web of life, we may find ourselves entangled in circumstances that seemingly contradict our intentions, even our financial situation can worsen, and challenges seem to multiply. It's a perplexing experience that leaves us questioning the course of events. Amidst this intriguing phase, we must remain steadfast in our aspirations, even when we wonder, why has the tide shifted in such a contrasting direction? We realize that the universe, in its enigmatic wisdom, has a unique method to its apparent madness, it's a test of authenticity. The universe, essentially, is posing a question, do your desires originate from the core of your being? Are you genuinely prepared to embrace the reality you seek? We must embark on the journey of truth to discover our most sincere desires and commit to embodying them. Take, for example, the desire for immense wealth, it's a common aspiration, but the journey to that wealth requires transformation, just like any other. A transformation in the kind of person who can wield wealth responsibly. For instance, the universe is testing us, making us question if we are truly ready to walk this transformative path. In a world where aspirations often come to the surface, the universe's tests are a puzzle waiting to be unraveled, they are the mirror reflecting the depth of our desire, the mirror asking if we are ready to embrace the essence of our dreams. It's an epiphany that illuminates our path with new clarity. We understand how to navigate the universe's tests, and then, as we turn a page, changes occur, we discover that the tests we faced were stepping stones that brought us closer to the treasures we were seeking. The path realigns, and in no time, the things we desire begin to materialize. It's a testament to the intricate manifestation of the universe, a force that encourages us to discover our true selves and invites us to embrace our deepest desires. As we delve deeper, we return to a fundamental question at the heart of manifestation, it's a question that holds the keys to unlocking the mysteries of the universe. What do you see? Manifestation is not about the universe fulfilling our specific requests, but something deeper, it's about the universe granting us reflections of our own being. Let me repeat, to emphasize, that the universe is not an entity that fulfills wishes, but a mirror that reflects our essence, it's the very essence of manifestation, the core of its mechanics. It's not about receiving exactly what you ask for but receiving what aligns with who you are. Think about it, you have desires in your heart to prosper financially. However, here's the fundamental principle, as long as your inner self remains unchanged, as long as you resonate at the same frequency, change will remain illusory. This change is crucial, this is where the universe comes in, not as an adversary but as the sculptor of your life. The universe presents challenges as a way to invite us to transform, to change our perspective. You have to ask yourself if you're prepared to radiate the energy of abundance even in the face of challenges. When we awaken to this perspective, we see opportunities amidst challenges, it's a transformation not only in circumstances but in our way of thinking. And this brings us to the second layer of the universe's intention, 
bearing witness to our commitment to this new self, especially in times of adversity. By declaring our desires, by venturing into the realms of manifestation, we are opting for a rebirth, we are choosing a new version of ourselves. It's this new you that the universe is gently sculpting, pushing you to live as the person who has already realized these dreams. These challenges are the markers affirming our determination, they are the guides on our transformative journey. So, it's essential that we recognize that every time we embark on manifestation, we are making the decision to embrace a new version of ourselves, this choice is the key to receiving what we desire. Before exploring strategies to overcome these tests, immerse yourself in a thought experiment. Imagine, for a moment, that your old self is like a different living being, much like your favorite animal, a cat, a dog, or any creature that resonates with you. This creature has taken residence in your mind, in your consciousness, and in your very being. Now, imagine a new creature arriving, claiming the space that was once home, it's like a new tenant taking ownership of a previously inhabited space. How might the old resident react? The old creature might challenge the newcomer, trying to maintain its dominance, but it might also reluctantly accept defeat and move out. This metaphor serves to illustrate a crucial point, when the process of manifestation encounters obstacles and becomes more challenging, it is often a sign that your old self, your past patterns, is rebelling against this transformation. But take heart and understand that this resistance signifies the impending demise of the old self. Now let's delve into how to effectively navigate these tests imposed by the universe. The first step is to greet the rebellion of your old self with a sense of gratitude and even happiness because your old patterns and rebellious self-image are clear indicators that they are about to disappear. This resistance signifies the crumbling of the old to make way for the new. But many people, when faced with these signs, recoil, they fear the upheaval of the unknown territory of change. In this crucial moment of rebellion, they step back, preserving their old selves, but we are here to recognize and understand the importance of this upheaval. And when we understand its importance, we realize that rebellion from the old self is a precursor to transformation, we are capable of grasping the essence of this metamorphosis and embracing it with courage. We understand that the more the old self is revealed, the more it crumbles, each day becomes a chapter of dissolution, a gradual disappearance of the old self. And through this journey, a remarkable evolution occurs. The second aspect involves embodying the attributes of the new version we seek to become. For example, when faced with a challenge, we don't focus on scarcity and complain. An evolved mindset responds differently, with a sense of abundance and confidence in its own journey. When you encounter challenges, contemplate how the person you aspire to be would handle these situations in those challenging moments, try a simple exercise, imagine stepping into this realized self. Then, simply reflect, how would this self approach this challenge? How would it respond while inhabiting this mental self? The space offers plenty of guidance, by embodying your future self, you are immersing yourself in the wisdom of experience. It's like consulting a mentor who has been where you want to be, this concept can serve as a foundation for overcoming obstacles and tests. Now, let's move on to the next step of the journey, celebrate your progress. Pause for a moment and consider this, every step, no matter how small it may seem, is a triumph. The path to manifestation is not an instantaneous transformation, a simple pulse movement resulting in immediate success. It's a gradual evolution, it's the daily commitment to becoming a better version of yourself. With each dawn, you add another stroke to the masterpiece of your growth. So embrace this idea and allow yourself to celebrate with each step forward. You have skillfully overcome a challenge today, applaud yourself, even if it seems like a small achievement. By celebrating all these victories, you are sending a powerful message to your subconscious, you are reinforcing the notion that you are progressing, getting closer and closer to your aspirations. But I would like you to remember that we are all in the process, so instead of aspiring to such instant transformations, make use of your time, respect each step of your unique journey. These small steps, when accumulated, pave the way for remarkable changes. By embracing and congratulating yourself for each step along the way, you are building a bridge between where you are and where you want to be. If you like this reflection, leave us a like or comment.
We invite you to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to continue watching more content like this. Thanks for coming this far.